Good evening and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here at the National Forest Adventure Farm in Burton-on-Trent. We're sort of a bit different, aren't we, Charlotte? Yeah. What are we here for tonight? Pumpkin picking! Yes, we're here for pumpkin picking at the Moonlight Harvest event. Now, the National Forest Adventure Farm is normally home to a Halloween event called Scream Fest. We've filmed a vlog from it for years, haven't we? Yeah. Of course, this year, due to COVID, they decided not to run the event. However, they've done something completely different, haven't they, this year? Yeah. So what have we got to look forward to tonight? So there's some fair rides. Yes. We can go on the tractor ride, we can go through the corn maze, and we can pick pumpkins. Looking forward to it. So we paid $9.99 each to come in tonight. Yeah. Rides are an additional cost, but you've got some live bands, and there's food and drink available to purchase, but you do get a pumpkin each included yes. in the price. So, I mean, what would you normally pay for a pumpkin? Two, three pounds maybe? Yeah, sometimes at the supermarket. It can be expensive. And we get to pick our own tonight and go through the corn maze with a torch, don't we? Here we go, we've got the torch ready. Woo! So we'll be able to take you through there, through the corn maze. Normally they have a scare maze in there when it's the Scream Fest event. Of course, no actors, nothing spooky tonight. I might but jump it's going to be good. Oh, you're not going to jump out and scare I me, are you? I do. <laughs> but we've got some really nice fair opportunities around here. So come and join us for a bit of moonlight harvest and we'll go on some rides as well. I've got the GoPro, we'll take you on. I think there's a sizzler, uh, a couple of other bits as well. So yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Here we go then. So there's a look at the logo for the event, Moonlight Harvest. And as you can see, they've got the O's replaced with two pumpkins just there. A really nice photo opportunity down here with loads of different pumpkins. Big pumpkins, small pumpkins, all different shapes and sizes. And of course, you've got all the corn just here as well. Oh, here we go. Band look like they're about to start. Of course, we'll get a bit of footage of those tonight. But yeah, something very different, very spooky. Of course, it's the main Halloween week now. We thought we'd try something a little bit different. Here we go then. So there's quite a big queue for the tractor ride. I think because everyone's just coming at the same time. Uh, the event runs from 7 o'clock through until 9.45. So everyone's gone straight to the tractor. Yeah. But we thought we'll get some tokens, go on a couple of rides. Here we go. So in terms of kids rides, what you've got here, as you can see, you've got the little spinning um, ride just over there. That's two tokens. It's a pound per token, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the sizzler over here, that's three tokens as well. Yeah, card only, no cash payments. Three tokens for the sizzler just over here. We've got a couple more little kids' rides just down here as well. We I don't also think have you... a nice burger van. <laughs> You're not going to come on the sizzler though, are you, Charlotte? No. <laughs> I'll have a burger instead. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you've got a little uh, teacup ride there. Got a little carousel. Then down here as well, we've got the City Hopper. You like these, don't you? Yeah. One of Charlotte's favourite rides at Fairground. Lovely. Here we go. So, yeah, we're going to go on the City Hopper. I think we'll be the only ones on here. Here we go. Come and join us. We'll get the GoPro on. Hey, here we go then. First ride, we're the only ones on it, aren't we, Charlotte? Yeah. As expected, everyone's gone pumpkin picking around the corn maze first. So we thought we'll do things a bit opposite just to let it quieten down a bit because there's quite a queue. You go on a tractor to go and get your pumpkin. Hey, city hopper, everybody. You best not squash me, Charlotte. I'm trying. <laughs> so yeah, three pound each to ride, three tokens. Pretty standard for one of these rides, really. Hey. Very smooth. Been on, been on some of these where they're quite rough, bit jolty, but really nice and smooth. Hey! Well, yeah, you can just see off to the left hand side there. Of course, part of the Moonlight Harvest event. That's how we go into the corn maze. Goats? Oh, yeah, we've got the animal barns open, are they? I think it's the, is it the animal barn open or the animal paddocks? The paddocks, paddocks are open and the barn's closed. Let's go. I bet the goats are wondering what's going on. Oh, they, I can see them. Well, can see them. I can see them. I don't know if the viewers can see them on the camera. It's quite dark. They're over there. There they are. We'll uh, get a bit of footage of the goats in a bit. Well, yeah, we forgot to mention the animals. How can we forget that, Charlotte? How can we forget? The animals. Hey. It's actually a sellout night for them here as well tonight. So it's great to see that people are coming out there, supporting the local businesses. And of course the showmen that bring their rides here as well. Really need that support. Oh, getting a bit of a hold now, I think. Here we go. Oh, you're not squashing me now. That's all right, yeah. <laughs> But look at all of the uh, lighting. They've got some really okay, nice bits of theming go. around. Reverse now, are you ready? Oh, no, no, you're gonna squash me. Oh, <laughs> city hopper, everybody. <laughs> been a while since I've been on one of these. Hey. Goats. <laughs> Goats from the ride. I wonder what they're thinking with this. They're probably thinking for God's sake, not the city hopper. <laughs> That was not a goat, that was a baby. <laughs> Why is the baby crying? I don't know. <laughs> hey! Oh, that was quite a big drop. <laughs> hey! 
quite a nice cycle. We've been going for two minutes and 18 seconds. Oh! <laughs> Go on, Charlotte. If you need to squash me, just squash me. Go on, if you need to do it. Oh! Hey! Your head's blowing everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, so back in the seats, get ready. Here we go. Let's oh, go we'll, down. We've got some more. Ah! We've been going for uh, three ah! minutes. Oh, oh, I like that. That's a really nice sensation, that. Oh, oh. City Hopper. Oh. Oh, hey. What a nice way to start our night here at the National Forest Adventure Farm. Worth pointing out, they also do a daytime event here as well. Not too sure on the full lineup in the daytime, but they do a daytime event. And there we go. That was worth three quid, wasn't it? That was really good. Yeah, it was great. I'm going to take you on the Sizzler now. Charlotte doesn't do these, do you? No. You don't do well. So, yeah, I'm going to take you on the Sizzler. Thank you. on the Sizzler. So like I say, three tokens, three pounds to ride. Again, pretty standard for a Sizzler. Not been on one of these for a while either. Of course, in the summer, really tried to get round and do as many different fairgrounds and seaside attractions as possible. And of course, the past month or so, it's been about getting back in some of the bigger theme parks again and doing those. So yeah, it's nice to get back on a couple of traveling rides again. Of course, on this Sizzler, got a great LED lighting package on here as well. Same with the City Hopper, actually. That had quite a good lighting package and a good cycle. So we'll see what this is like. There's Charlotte's on the bench over there. Getting a bit busier now. A lot of people, like I say, they go straight on the track to ride, it seems, and then come down here on some rides. So I think, you know, paying extra for the rides when it's only 9 99 to come in isn't too bad, really. Normally, I'm not a fan of upcharge stuff, but you're going to think there's quite a few people who come here who wouldn't be interested in doing the rides. They might just want to come, pick the pumpkin, see some of the entertainment, maybe have a drink or two. Hey, a bit of smoke. Of course, it's more about the atmosphere or something like this. It's got a great atmosphere. Certainly very different to Screamfest. But it's nice that they've done something for families as well in the evening. Hey, not too fast. A little bit of strobe action. It's what we like. Quite a nice lighting package on here, actually. Here we go. Speeding us up. Woo! A few more people over there on the frogs now. Hey! On the city hopper. Very nice and smooth. Both of these rides we've done tonight are very smooth. You can tell, you know, sometimes they're a bit jolty, especially if they're all the rides. Whereas with this, really smooth. Way. Yeah, we got our torch ready. It's going to have a little walk around the uh, corn maze. Looking forward to that. It's normally it's an actual Halloween attraction with actors, and we can't film inside it. So yeah, we can actually take you in there with a the camera and film through there. Normally the corn's really high, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like this year. It's a massive corn maze normally as well, so don't know how much of it's going to be open. Classic line. Screams want to go faster. Woo. She's got a good fairground voice. Oh yes. Really fast now. Fast and smooth and intense. That's how I like it. Here we go. Get that smoke pumping out. Strobes on. Yeah, Charlotte wouldn't have liked this now. It's quite a fast one. Let's go faster now. Oh wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is running really good. Wow. Something about all the lights on the front of each one as well, going through the smoke, really makes it. That was really good, nice cycle. Right, let's go and carry on having a look around Moonlight Harvest. Well, I enjoyed those rides. Nice way to start our evening here at the National Forest Adventure Farm. Good cycle on both of them as well. Yeah, really good. Don't think you'd have liked the Sizzler though. Oh no. What are you going to reveal to us then now, Charlotte? What's behind us? Goats. It's the goats, here they are. We've got the toy, so we'll spin you around. Let's have a little look at these goats just over here. I bet they're wondering what's going on with these rides. 
Oh, here they all are. We love the goats, don't we? You don't normally see any animals when you come here for Scream Fest. Of course, to keep them well out of the way because there's chainsaws around and all sorts of other things that might scare them. But yeah, I think they're just quite chilled out. They're thinking, oh, yeah, just another night of moonlight harvest. Ride to game round. I wish I could go in with them. There's someone dressed as a pumpkin behind you over there. Like, oh, yeah, it's like one of them inflatable <laughs> pumpkin costumes, you know. Really? If only we had some costumes to dress up in for Halloween, eh? Yeah, if only, know, you know. <laughs> stay tuned, stay tuned. But uh, here we go. We're going to have a little walk through um, just over here now, which is the corn maze. Just thought I'd show you this as well, which I think is fantastic. They've got a wheelchair accessible pumpkin patch over there. Oh, How nice is that? So, of course, for the normal pumpkin patch, you go up there on the tractor and that takes you around. It's probably quite bold. Look at that nice wide entrances and exits um, for this wheelchair accessible pumpkin patch. Look at the size of some of these. Oh my god. I want, I want one like that. Yeah. There we go. That's fantastic. Yeah, look at all these. What a nice little idea there. A set route all the way around. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Really, really nice setup there, what they've got. But here we go. Let's go and have a little walk through here. I've lost my mummy, it says. I'm not quite sure. There's two different ones, I think. We'll go and have a little look. Let's yeah. go and see. Here we go then. So we're heading away from the rides then now into the corn. Look at this, I told you the corn gets high. Go and stand next to that there, Charlotte. Let's, uh, here we go. Gives you a bit of an idea on the corn. <laughs> You're doing a bit of a spoof for us. I'll tell you what, you go and hide somewhere down this bit. I'll turn around and then uh, you give me a bit of a scare. How about that? Tell us when you're ready. <laughs> there we go. Spin around this way. Oh, we got some music on. You, what a tune. Here we go, I can't see Charlotte now. She's gone. I'm gonna be the man. I don't know, she could be there, she could be here. <laughs> She's gonna jump out somewhere. Freddy, number five. Oh, I love it around here. <laughs> oh, uh, you actually got me as well. <laughs> I thought you were gonna come out from the right hand side. Well, you know what, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here we go. I like the music. It's actually quite eerie, like normally, obviously when we've been to Screen Fest before, um, you come through here <laughs> and uh, yeah, obviously, you know, you can't really film it normally. I think we have done it on one or two occasions when we've had permission, but not all the time. And uh, yeah, you walk through with actors, there's chainsaws and everything, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is quite different. I think it's still quite eerie, to be honest, but look at the size of this corn. It's amazing. We just had a little brief and don't go, uh, where? Oh, there we go, there's a sweet corn. Is it plastic or is it real? Yeah, <laughs> which way do we go? Oh, here we go, round to the right. I'm not too sure what all these are for. Maybe they're, uh, you're supposed to count how many you see? I don't know. I tell you what, it's dark though, isn't it? Do you want the torch for a bit? Yeah. There you go, have the torch and we'll uh, carry on walking down this way. Here we go, Charlotte's gone hiding somewhere again now. I don't know whereabouts. Oh, that isn't Charlotte. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Oh, she's in here. <laughs> where about, whereabouts are we? I know. We're actually, yeah, is it a dead end? Is it? Yeah, it's cordoned off, so we've got to go. Oh, all right, okay. I thought that, yeah, oh, yeah, it is blocked off. Here we go, back down this way. <laughs> I think uh, all those people running up the top there. How do we get up there? That looks like fun. People up the top. That's what they actually use during the um, maze, of course, when it's uh, a scare maze. Here we go. We just took a lovely photo of Charlotte in the corn as well down here. I'm sure you'll be seeing that over on Instagram. What's your Instagram, Charlotte? At CharlotteTPW. At CharlotteTPW. And of course, you can give us a follow at Sean Sandbrook and at Theme Park okay. Worldwide. Here we go. This gives you an idea on the size. They normally use this during... Oh, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they normally use most of this during uh, Halloween normally. This might be the last vlog you ever see. We might never get lost. <laughs> <laughs> might get lost in here. Look at the size of this. So, of course, we just walked in from over there where all the rides are. It stretches all the way that way. But yeah, this is a proper maze that you can get lost in. It's not like a set route. When they do it as a scare attraction, it, it is a set route. But yeah, look at this. It is absolutely huge. Like, it's that dark out there, you can't even really see. That's some of the props down there, I think, from what they use normally for when it's a, um, a scare walkthrough. But look at that, all the way up the top. And I think we're going to pick our pumpkins up where them uh, lights are up there. I think that's where the tractor is going to drop us off. But all right, let's carry on walking. Oh, somebody down there. You all right, mate? Yeah. <laughs> so we've been walking through the corn maze now for about two and a half hours, haven't we, Charlotte? We're absolutely lost. Where are we? We're in the corn. Help! Anyone? Help! help. Yeah. Oh, somebody heard us. Help. We need help. Yeah. <laughs> This is great fun. What a really nice family event, it's isn't lovely, it? lovely, isn't it? I think it's got a really nice vibe about it. It's something a little bit different walking through. I tell you what, though, if you come here, you need to be a bit like Charlotte and have... Da -da -da -da. Wellies. <laughs> Wellies on. You don't want to have... Da -da -da -da. 
trainers on. You see them? So muddy. Oh, there we go. That was a bit of a fail. Uh, turning the camera down and holding the torch. It's a bit of a fail. Yeah, it's very muddy. I mean, yeah, look at this. It's yeah, I can't show you. <laughs> it's really bad. I so need to spin muddy. you around, but yeah, it's very, very muddy. We've not been lost for that long, by the way. We've been about 15 minutes in I here. Think but, we're near the exit. Yeah, I don't think they're. Oh, oh, it's squelchy. Oh god, I'm gonna have to stop here and spin around. But yeah, I think you know they're not home the full corn maze as you've been no. here all night. But yeah, I, honestly, <laughs> I don't really want to move from here. I've just squelched right down. It's like I've just stood, stood in some uh, dog poo or something. <laughs> like, it's not nice. Oh, yeah, that is exactly why you want to be wearing wellies and not trainers. What not to wear in a corn maze? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was really good fun down there. I enjoyed it, but I definitely should have had some wellies on. Should have took Charlotte's advice. Yeah, you should have done. Why didn't I have wellies on? I don't know. Oh, there you go. I'm sure we'll go for another walk through there later and get yeah. even more muddy. But what we're we doing there now, Charlotte? We're going to pick our pumpkin. This is it. Not just any pumpkin. It's going to be the theme park worldwide official Yay. 2020 pumpkin that we're going to get here from the pumpkin patch. So how this works is we queue up here. We got on a tractor. That's going to take us to a field. Then we pick the pumpkins and bring them back. But do we get on the tractor back? I'm not do we sure. walk back? I don't know. Who knows? Normally at Screenfest when it's the maze, you get the tractor up and there. You come through the maze. You come through the corn maze to get back here so you don't get the tractor sure. back. But we're going to find out. I imagine the tractor's going to bring us back. But here we go. It's got a lot to quite a queue now than what it had before. It was all the way up here when we first came in. So my advice to you if you are coming here is probably do this a little bit later on. But here we go. Let's go and pick the official theme park wool by pumpkin. Well, two pumpkins, one each. Yay. It's good that, isn't it? Looking forward to this. I hope it's not too muddy though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shoes aren't too bad. Oh, they're all right. Like <laughs> on the sides. Could have been a lot worse. Here we go then. So we're on the tractor. We had to wait about five minutes. And we're off to pick the theme park worldwide pumpkins. Here we go. Ooh. So yeah, it's an open top tractor ride. And it's a bit bumpy, isn't it? Oh, no. Bumpiest ride of the night. Oh. The Sizzler and the frogs were uh, yeah quite smooth. This is quite bumpy. Oh, it's like going on an old like arrow coaster or something this one. But here we go, yeah, let's go and pick the pumpkins. I think this is going to be really muddy up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned. But uh, here we go, we're going to see what this is like. It's taking us right out into the wilderness. Oh, it's bumpy. Blimey, it's like a girl's flower. We go then under the moon. Oh, how spooky! It's really nice. What a great vibe. We've actually got three tractors on. Well, when I say tractors, two tractors, and I think is that a JCB over there? I think it is. And here we go. We've arrived at the drop off point. But yeah, you shouldn't have to wait too long having three vehicles on, three trailer loads. And here we are. We've arrived. We've reached our destination. Here we go then. So we've arrived at the pumpkin patch, and it's absolutely huge. Look at this. I know. There's loads. Now, there was some shoe covers that you can have, some blue shoe covers. Um, but I've just tried them on, they ripped straight away. Oh, so this is going to be a real good laugh, this is. This could be goodbye to I Sean's know. trainers. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's the shoe covers. I've just tried it on, it's ripped straight away. But here we go. Where do we go, Charlotte? I mean, we've got all over there. We've got all down this way. And yeah, we've got to get through the mud. Are you going to try them? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll try and get them on because look at this. Yeah, it's boggy. <laughs> yeah, it's a mud pile. Here we go then, right, she's trying to get me foot in this. Oh, it's like when you go and view a house, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we don't want to get anything on the carpet. Oh, there we go. That one's all right. You got to do my other one now. Yeah, <laughs> you're looking after me tonight, aren't you, Charlotte? Watch your head. Here we go, got to get the other one on. Yeah, that's a, it's got a bit of a hole in. I don't think these are going to last, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. So we've got to uh, just carry on walking. Oh, go and sit, Charlotte, I'm sinking. So <laughs> Yeah, you're all right. You got wellies on. If you come to this event, don't be an idiot like me. You've got to put the proper footwear on for this. Ah, uh, Charlotte, can we just get one of these small ones over here? You're not going to make me go and get a big one, are you? Aww. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I can feel it in my sock. Oh, it's in me. Oh. <laughs> it's in my sock. Oh, blimey. Oh, oh, oh God! And it went fly. Oh my. Yeah. I don't think these trainers are. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, it's a bit better. It's a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's go and find this pumpkin. <laughs> oh. Well, we've been walking around for about five minutes, and we haven't seen many large pumpkins, have we, Charlotte? No. Where's the big ones? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to proper go uh, search them. Oh, yeah, we got a green one just down here. Quite a few of these are green, aren't they? Yeah. 
Here we go, we've got to keep on searching down this way. You can just see like loads of white lights just out there. Here we're in Burton on Trent, out in the woods. <laughs> here we go, oh, that's not a bad one there. Hey, I'll show the viewers this green one, light it up, look at that. It looks like a courgette. <laughs> yeah. There we go, look at, yeah, there you go. Look at that one. Yeah, I think we're going to go down this end, Charlotte. That's where everybody seems to be, somewhere down here. We need to make this a good one. It's the theme park wall by Pumpkin. It's got to be a good I think one. All the big ones have gone. I don't know. People are coming off the tractor with some just. There got to be some. Oh, how sad is this, viewers? Look at this pumpkin. It's been smashed up by somebody. Look at that. They should have more care for the pumpkins. Oh, oh you got one. A big, big, big one. I'm coming over. Hang on. Just going to try not get trapped in the mud. I know, well, my, my blue things have fallen off. Like, they've gone. There you go. Oh, here we go. It's that's, a bit green. That's a big one. Do you mind that it's a bit green, though? Look at my... Yeah. <laughs> Spin it over. Let's have a look. There we go. To be honest, I don't think you're going to get much better than that. Look at the top on that as well. Is that, is that a stalk? Is that what you call it? I think so, yeah. A pumpkin stalk? Mine's got to be fully orange. Do you not like that? I think what I might do is take that and then we can always bring it back. If I don't, well, we'll just put it somewhere else in the field. Say bring it back like this is the place it's got to go. It's not going to go back to there, but here we are. We're getting some bigger ones here. What's that one there, Charlotte? That's big. That doesn't look too bad. Get it rolled over. That's it. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, I like the shape of that. That's good for carving. Here we are. Where's the... Uh, it's oh. not got a stalk. It's not No stalk, no interest. No. Right. <laughs> right, here we go. So we found one, just off here, we've come off the side, it's just it's covered. It's attached. In loads of nettles and stuff. Oh, there we go, I'm just worried that it might prick me. Well, here we go. Oh, it's attached to all this. There we go, and we can... Oh, let's get that gone. There we go, look at this one, Charlotte, how's that? That's all right, it that. It is, I just need to get rid of all this now. There we go. He's got it. Oh, it stung me, yeah. <laughs> How can you get pricked by a pumpkin? You know what, once that's cleaned up, I'm having that, unless I see better, that's what I'm having. There you go, that could be the official theme park all wide pumpkin. But we're not just getting one, we're getting two of these. So yeah, let's go and see if we can find another one. So here we are. We've got all these pumpkins down here and then we've got Sean. Here we go, so Charlotte's just selected this one, doesn't yeah. it? It's not the biggest, but you like it, don't you? Yeah, it's okay. We can always swap it out if we see yeah, a better one. Yeah, we can always swap it, but look at all these pumpkins. There's so many. Here we go then, so we're leaving the pumpkin patch. We've got our pumpkins just over here. Here they are, there we go. So that's mine just there. Managed to pull it out, didn't I, eh? Broke the top off a little bit, but we can just chop that, make it look a bit neater. And we've got Charlotte's just there as well. To be honest, I don't think we've done too bad there. I think they look all right. Here we go, yeah, so we're going back down on the tractor ride now. Like I say, when they've had Screen Fest before, you walk through the corn maze to get back. Yeah, so we're going down this way. There's the other tractor. We're on the back of the JCB. It is a JCB, we saw it just when we was getting on. And of course, it gives you a bit of an idea how far it brings you out. There's all the fun fair rides over there. We're heading back down over to the main hub now. Go see some of the entertainment, have a look around there. So we just come off the track, so we're back. Yeah. What have we got then? Show us the pumpkins. Here we go. We're seeing them in a bit more detail now. So that's mine on the left. It's got something growing out the top of it there, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And there's yours on the right hand side. A little bit smaller, but you know what? I reckon we can get some good carvings out of them. It's quite nice. I mean, it's very muddy out there, isn't it, if you're doing it? Very muddy, but uh, as you can hear, you've got the band on now, just down here. So yeah, we're going to go and pop these in the car, then we're going to come back, have a drink, and enjoy the atmosphere. But there you go, a little look at the uh, pumpkins just there. We'll carve them out, we'll post a picture on Instagram, I'm sure. with you. Now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give Here we go then, so we put our pumpkins over in the car. Try to clean our shoes off a little bit, <laughs> but I think they're salvageable. At first I was thinking they might need to go in the bin, but no, I think they'll be alright after they've been washed. And yeah, along with the band, you've also got this guy with the fire just over here. Spinning fireman, we'll call him. Hey! What a great atmosphere down here, it's really nice. Great family event. When the devil finished, Johnny said, hey, you're pretty good, old son. But sit down in that chair and let me show you how it's done.
if you ever want to try again, because I told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best in this ever been. footage there of the fire breather and also the entertainment what they've got down here as well and i thought they were both really good actually yeah i like the <laughs> yeah he was really good on there and he gave like a proper like woo -hoo -hoo at the yeah, end didn't he scream. but uh, the guy on the accordion but yeah nice violin on there as well i love a good uh, violin uh, but i've really enjoyed it tonight i think it's been a really good event and it's great value what do you think yeah i think it's a really good value event and you get a free pumpkin you get a pumpkin you gotta think you pay two three pounds for a pumpkin paid 9.99 to come in and of course extra for the ride i think it's fair price i think it's a really good event yeah in terms of food and drink options as well you've got a bar down here of course because of covid it is all table service i think they said they've got like an app what you download yeah you have to download an app and then it'll be delivered to your table well there you go yeah i think that's what they have to do isn't it at the moment because of all the guidelines uh, along with that there's a couple of like burger vans and stuff around there shark likes the burger vans we did have some food before we came so we've not had any here tonight to sample it but uh got quite a few different food options all around the fairground rise and this area in general but it's been a bit of a different vlog here on theme park worldwide but you know we thought we'd come here these events need the support we've been on a couple of rides as well supporting the showman and of course we got our pumpkin we did that we're gonna carve so we'll put some pictures on our instagram accounts of the pumpkin yes. so go and give us a follow it's uh, at charlotte tbw at sean sandbrook and of course the theme park worldwide accounts are run by both of us at theme park worldwide so go and give us a follow and you can see our spooky pumpkins but i tell you what i feel like we've had a really good halloween this year yeah and we've still got a couple of uh, different vlogs coming up. Um, a really funny video coming up in a few days' time from Alton Towers. We've got something good planned, haven't we, Charlotte? Um, yeah, we said we haven't dressed up yet. Well, something might be coming. I know people were quite disappointed when we put our first Scarefest vlog on about two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, we wasn't dressed um, up. People, especially to Charlotte, was like, where's your costume? Yeah. Charlotte always dresses up, don't you? I do, so every year. We are dressing up. We've got something, but we're not going in with, like, Halloween horror theme for our dress. But we're doing something quite funny. So we'll have a funny vlog coming up from Alton Towers later this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back down to Thorpe Park and uh, to have another look around the scare zones, do some more night rides. And uh, yes, there's still a couple more Halloween vlogs to come on the channel uh, that we're looking forward to sharing with you all here on Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, there you go. Thank you very much for joining us for another spooky vlog um, here on Theme Park Worldwide. We'll see you in our next Halloween vlogs and check out the Halloween playlist if you haven't already seen them. That leaves us with both one more thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you later.